So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to map out some of those um, big areas. I'm sort of using a, a one inch size brush. Now I don't know if you can see that, but see how I've kind of left those little gaps on the tin? Um, the texture, because you're painting an animal, could work out quite nicely. So don't think you need to paint everything in for the viewer. The viewer will put a lot of um, information, a smart viewer, will put a lot of that information in um, themselves. So they don't need to be spoon fed. So it creates a nice sort of texture. Now I'm trying to work out, cows apparently have hairy ears and see this sort of mark? This is something that I can put on an edge. Make sure I have enough paint. And take down a little bit. And I wonder if I can just go back and put some of those lines in there. So I was going to paint up, but actually the direction that you paint is super important. I mean, you can always go over it, but why, um, you know, why not start off in the areas that you want to do? Why not start up in the areas that you want to do? Why not start off giving it uh, the shape that you're after? When you start, it's like doing some of that preparation. I'm actually wondering, should I have done the white first and then do the black or do the black first? We will see. Okay, I'm going to get stuck into a bit of that painting because you don't need to watch me paint that slowly. And then we'll come back. So one of the things you'll notice is when I'm painting in this particular piece, I'm really using the brush stroke, uh, the width of the brush and the color of the paint to do a lot of that work for me. So I change the angle that's being painted in.
So that paint is too dark there. So what I'm gonna do is use the darker gray colors in other areas where I know it's dark. I haven't even um, washed my brush yet. Oh, a bit of blue in there is quite nice. You know, one of the things I do, sometimes I never mix up enough paint. It's a bit annoying. 